In this tutorial, we will be studying how to count the number of inversions in an First of all, what are inversion pairs? Two elements in an array form an inversion pair if a of i is greater than a of j and the value of i is smaller than j. Example, the, uh, look at these elements 2, 4, 1, 3, 5 which are in an array. Now these elements have a total of three inversions which are 2, 1, 4, 1 and 3, 5. Let us see how this works. Here, 2 is greater than 1, but the value of index 2, which is 0, is smaller than value of index 1, which is 2. Similarly, for 4, 1 and 3, 5, we have the same explanation. A sorted array has zero number of inversions, whereas an unsorted array has maximum number of inversions. Now, this is quite obvious. We move on to the brute force method, which is used to count the number of inversions. In this method, we iterate the array element by element and for each element, we check the number of smaller elements to the right of the selected element. So you see the method get inverse count. We first initialize the inverse count to be 0. Then we run a loop from 0 to n minus 2. Then for each element, we run a loop from the element to its right to the element at index n minus 1 where we encounter any element which is smaller the element, we increment the count. And finally, we return the count. This method solves the problem in order of n square time complexity. Now we will be looking at a solution in which we will be to count the number of inversions in an array. But firstly, we will quickly recapitulate the original merge sort algorithm. Merge sort works on divide and conquer, conquer paradigm, i.e. we keep recursively dividing the given problem into smaller subproblems until they become simple enough to be solved directly. Then solutions of the subproblems are combined to give solution to the original problem. Given an array, we first of all divide the array into two halves, then we call the merge sort on each of these halves and then we finally merge these two. Here is the big picture of the enhanced merge sort algorithm. We divide the array recursively into two halves and compute the uh, answer of these two sub halves. Now suppose we know the number of inversions in the left and right halves of the array. Then what kind of inversions are not accounted for in inversion 1 and inversion 2? Well, the answer is the ones we have to count during the merge step. Therefore, to get the total number of inversions, we need to get number of inversions in the left subarray, right subarray and the merge step. Now the question is, how do we get the number of inversions in the merge operation? To answer that, let i be used for indexing left subarray and j be used for indexing right subarray. At any step in merge, if value of at, uh, at index i is greater than value of element index j, then we know that there are mid minus 1 inversions. Now let's look at the pseudo code for divide and conquer merge sort algorithm. First we have the in merge sort uh, fun uh, uh, function in which we have the parameters the uh, which uh, we take as integer array, integer temp, integer left and integer right. Then we initialize the mid and the uh, inverse count to be zero. Now first, first rule of the uh, recursive function is we set the base case. So we and the condition with it. So the condition we have here is if right is greater than left which is obviously true because the right pointer will always have to be greater than the left pointer for the loop for the function to be valid and the uh, and to be run now we initialize the mid uh, value of the array to be right plus left by 2 which is we are dividing the array into two parts called merge sort and count for each of the parts now for counting the number of inversions we have we have to have three parameters which is 
we have which uh, as we discussed before which are the number of inversions in the left sub area which is given by this line the number of inversions in the right sub array which is given by this line and the number of inversions when we merge the two parts which is given by this line let's quickly see an example of how this divide and conquer merge sort algorithm works suppose here we have an array in which we uh, we have divided it in, into two uh, two sorted subarrays the left subarray has elements 3 7 10 14 18 and 19 and the right subarray has 2 11 16 17 23 and 25 as you can see both the two subarrays have been sorted now the main work which have to which has to be done is we have to count the number of inversions we start by comparing number 3 and number uh, number 3 in the left subarray and number 2 in the right subarray now since number 3 is great number 2 so we put number 2 into the main auxiliary array which is given by auxiliary array since 2 is smaller than 3 we have that all the elements in the left sub array which are 3 7 10 14 18 and 19 will also be uh, greater than 2 since 3 is the smallest in the left sub array but since all the elements in the left sub array have an index smaller than the value smaller than the index of 2 we have total number of 6 inversions which is given by the total now here we we compare number 3 with the next element in the, uh, the right sub array which is number 11 since 3 is smaller than 11 we directly put 3 into the main auxiliary uh, array next we move on to number 7 where i equal to 5 since 7 is smaller than uh, 11 it is also put into the main auxiliary same happens with now when we move on to 14 is greater than 11 but has uh, index 7 smaller than 11 so what happens is so what does happen we have a total number of three inversions here since we incorporate 14 18 and 19 into the inversion count hence we add 6 plus 3 Till here we have total number of 6 plus 3 equal to 9 inversions next we move the j counter which is which moves from 11 to 16 again 14 is smaller than 16 so we put down the 14 element into the main array without increasing the then we move on to since 18 is smaller than 16 we again put 16 into the auxiliary array and increase increase the inversion count by 2 since 18 and 19 both are greater than 16 <coughs> we move on to 17 since 18 is also greater than 17 we again increment the now when we move on to 18 and 19 are smaller than 23 so we uh, put the put 18 and 19 into the main sub now i has gone on to zero we have no more elements left on, in the first in the left sub array and it has exhausted hence we put 23 and 25 into the main sub array without increment hence we have total number of 6 plus 3 equal to 9 plus 2 11 plus 2 13 num uh, 13 in one now let's look at the time complexity of this merge sort uh, algorithm which is used for counting the number of inversions now the equation of the time complexity is t of n equal to t of n by 2 plus t of n by 2 plus n which is quite obvious since we are using two recursive functions which is uh, one function for counting the number of inversions in the left subarray and one uh, recursive function for counting the number of inversions in the right subarray Hence, we have t of n by 2 and t of n by 2 for each of those recursive functions. But with this, we have another function which is used for just merging these two functions. And hence, we have an n which is added to the time complexity. Here is a brief proof of how we uh, how we prove that t of n equal to o of n log n big o of n log n for this merge so consider this uh, tree here we prove the uh, time complexity to be o of n log n by the proof of recurrence 
first we have t of n which gets divided into t of n by 2 and t of n by 2 t of n by 2 is further divided into t of n by 4 this goes on and on and on and as we know that the height of this full tree is going to be log of n and hence since we have each uh, since we have each branch or each child adding up to n we have a total number of n log n time complexity hope you all benefited from this tutorial thank you so much and have a good day